Hi, good morning, dear children. We are going to continue the chapter force. In the last class or in the last video, we explained moment of force coupled etc. Today, firstly, we are going to discuss the term equilibrium. In Malayalam, equilibrium means Sandulidavasta. Suppose we are placing a mobile on a table. We are applying a force on this mobile. The mobile is not moving. Can you follow me? We are applying a force not a single force suppose we are applying several forces on a body but the body has no change in its position body has no change in its position suppose we have a body here he is placed on a table i am applying a force here actually you know there is a gravitational pull downwards I am applying a force here, it is the gravitational force and several forces acting on that body but the body has no changing its position. Then we can say that the body is in at equilibrium. The body is at equilibrium. We can classify the equilibrium into two. One is static equilibrium and the second one is dynamic equilibrium. Static equilibrium and dynamic equilibrium. Static equilibrium means suppose a body is at rest then we are applying several forces then it has no change in its position. Then we can say that that is a static equilibrium. Can you follow me? We are applying a force on a body which is at rest. Okay. In, suppose the body is not in equilibrium, suppose then we are applying a force, then it moves in a linear path or it covers a translational motion. Suppose the body is at free, then we are also applying a force, then it, it comes in rotational motion. That we know. But here we are saying, suppose a body is at rest and we are applying several forces on that body, then the body has no change in its position. Then we can say that that is static equilibrium. Can you follow me? Then second one is dynamic equilibrium. Suppose a body is in the position of motion or body is moving. Then we can consider or we are applying a force on the body. That means we are applying a force on a body which is at a translational motion or a rotational motion. Then the body will not change its motion. Body will not change its translational motion or rotational motion. Can you follow me? Simple thing you have to remember static equilibrium is applicable when the body is at rest. Dynamic equilibrium is applicable when the body is at motion. Okay? Okay? That means when the body is at rest, then we can say that the body is at static equilibrium. That means we are applying several forces on a body but the body does not change its position and a body is in motion that means translational motion or rotational motion we are applying several forces but it will not change its motion that means the body will not come to rest that is called the dynamic equilibrium again listen that we are saying static equilibrium and dynamic equilibrium. Static equilibrium means 
when your body remains in the state of rest under the influence of several forces that is a static equilibrium and the second one is a dynamic equilibrium when your body remains in the same state of motion that means either translational or rotational under the influence of several forces that we can say dynamic equilibrium okay okay dear students next point today we are going to discuss that is center of gravity it is very simple and important topic because in the board examination definitely there will be a question from this topic for two marks definitely 100% guarantee for that so you have to learn at the end of this topic i will say there is a box in the textbook that is uh, <coughs> related with the center of gravity so you have to learn that center of gravity of different bodies that is the important question here center of gravity center of gravity means the point at which we can balance a body the point at which we can balance a body suppose this is a duster suppose you know the circus persons doing they are balancing a long stick at the at the tip of their index finger okay you know it similarly we are suppose we want to i can't do it if you want or if you can balance this duster at a fingertip then there should be a certain point in this case it is a rectangle duster is a rectangle you have to draw the diagonals you know the diagonal suppose this is a duster and it is in the shape of a rectangle okay then you have to draw the diagonals okay the meeting point of that diagonals will be the center of gravity of that rectangle can you follow me center of gravity means the point at which we can balance a body okay here i told one example in the case of a rectangle the center of gravity point definitely will be the meeting point or the intersection point of the diagonals it is same applicable in the case of a square also in the case of a square it is also the meeting point of the diagonals and in the case of a triangle you have to draw the medians that means centroid of a triangle that is the term in mathematics centroid that is the meeting point of the medians okay can you follow me suppose in the case of a circular disc that will be the center okay can you follow me okay in the text many bodies are given and the point of center of gravity you have to learn definitely the points of center of gravity of that bodies that is very very important okay i told some examples only square rectangle a solid <coughs> a ring and then i told a triangle okay next topic in this chapter uniform circular motion suppose that means i think in the last class i told take a string and tie a small stone at one end then rotate it that i told about in the case of the rotational motion okay then here similar thing that means you have to take a long string and tie a small stone at one end and starts to rotate then that body moves in a circular path with a constant speed 
Then we can say that there is a uniform circular motion. While doing that, suppose you are rotating that stone attached to the string, then you will feel that means you are holding that string in between your thumb and the index finger. Then it starts to rotate. Suppose, can you follow me? Here I am taking just an example that is suppose it is a mobile charger then I am going to rotate this can you follow me then what is happening we are holding that string definitely without thumb and the index finger and it is rotating like this way suppose okay then we feel that a force is act towards out thumb that means that is the center suppose we are doing like this then that is that will be the center okay then a force is acting towards the center of the circle when a body is at a uniform circular motion a force act towards the center of that circular path suppose a body is moving in a circular path it is the center a force is acting towards the center can you follow me that force is called the centripetal force due to this centripetal force earth is moving around the sun or all other planets are moving around the sun and moon is moving around the earth all is due to the presence of centripetal force can you follow me then you know suppose you are riding a cycle when a curve is there then definitely you will lean little okay that means we will change how the position okay by moving the car why we are leaning a little the answer is to provide centripetal force. Simply, don't fall from the cycle. Can you follow me? Here, when a body moves in a circular path, then a force acts towards the center of that circle. That is the centripetal force. And another force is centrifugal force. That is the force acts away from the center the force acts away from the center that is the centrifugal force can you follow me that is the centrifugal force remember one thing centripetal force is a real force but the centrifugal force is not real centrifugal force is not real it is very very important Vrchika Mela at Ochira, you know there is a death well, motorcycle and car is rotating in circular path. I hope many of you definitely watch that. How they can ride that motorbike or cycle, so sorry, your car, anything, there's a motorbike, cycle or car, how can they ride in a circular ring? is due to centripetal force. Then you have to understand centripetal force is a real force but the centrifugal force is not real. And I told that is uniform circular motion. In the case of uniform circular motion you have to understand that the velocity is variable. Speed is uniform but the velocity is variable that is very very important point that you have to remember in the case of a uniform circular motion speed is uniform but the velocity is variable that means uniform circular motion is a is an accelerated motion okay uniform circular motion is an accelerated motion 
but in the case of a linear motion that you have to understand speed and velocity are constant speed and velocity are constant that why when you say that is in the case of a linear motion speed and velocity are constant that means acceleration is zero that is not an accelerated motion but in the case of a uniform circular motion speed is uniform but velocity is variable that means uniform circular motion is an example for accelerated motion again i am saying please remember uniform circular motion is an accelerated motion but in the case of a linear motion speed and velocity are uniform that means the acceleration is zero that means that is not an accelerated motion okay dear students study well please watch the video very carefully if you have any doubt please ask okay thank you thank you very much